Holloman made history this past week with its first launch of the unmanned aerial system aircraft, the MQ-1 Predator. The MQ-1 arrived at Holloman back in June and underwent a series of tests and evaluations which determined that the aircraft was ready for flight. The launch gave the media a chance to come on base and see the aircraft firsthand. Lieutenant Colonel Ryan Sherwood comments on the event. It's basically a culmination of uh, the effort that's gone, gone on here between the 432nd wing and the 49th and that we're declaring our initial operational capability, which means we've done all the testing that's required. Uh, we've done everything that we needed to to fly here at Holloman. Although the aircraft are from Creech Air Force Base, Nevada, Holloman serves as a prominent training site for the remote piloted vehicles. The RPVs, remotely piloted vehicles, are here to stay. Uh, and it's great to be here at Holloman where they've helped us out so much and be able to integrate uh, here at this base with the F-22s, the Tornados, uh, the tests, just like we would downrange. Uh, it's really a great experience for us. Lieutenant Colonel Sherwood also said that by fiscal year 2012, all the training from Creech Air Force Base will be here at Holloman. Reporting from Holloman Air Force Base, I'm Senior Airman Katarina Slavinsky.